What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to find out if we can spray some clear coat, automotive clear coat, over the Rust-Oleum spray cans. So today I brought some spray cans from the store, the high gloss and the ultra matte finish. So we're going to find out if uh, we can spray clear, if it's going to cause a reaction, if it's going to work over one, both or none. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get a uh, test fender and uh, just sand it down, spray some uh, rust -oleum, and then we'll spray the clear. So let's go ahead and start with that. Okay, so here's our test fender for today. So this was just a black um, that I had used. Can't remember what project, but I'm gonna go ahead and just send it down and get it ready for paint. All right, so here's the fender. First time I do, I'm gonna spray half of the fender with the ultra matte, and then I'm gonna mask, and then I'm gonna do the other half with the gloss black. Okay, so this has been drying for half an hour and um, there's still the Ultramat and the gloss. So before I start laying the clear coat, I want you guys to leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think is going to happen once I start spraying the clear coat. Uh, I think 
uh, because I haven't sprayed clear coat over Rust-Oleum or like gloss or anything like this, especially not this uh, brand clear coat. But if anything is going to happen, I'm thinking the gloss is the one that's going to react. Uh, but let's go ahead and find out. This is the clear coat that I'm going to use. This is the Besney found on eBay. And uh, this one mixes on a four parts clear, one part activator. And just for the fun of it, I'm going to add just a teaspoon of black pearl. And my spray gun, this is the Spectrum HTE 1.3 with the 3M airflow control valve. Is it gonna work? Or is it gonna work? Okay, I think this is a bug though. Yeah, I think this is a bug. Um, unless the paint started peeling, but uh, yeah. All right, let's just wait for a little bit. We'll take the part out and uh, we'll see We'll see what happens. So far it looks promising, but um, in a few minutes we'll take the, the fender out into the sun and we'll see it. Okay, are you guys ready? This is the gloss side. Yeah, I think that was a bug. Yeah, but uh, this is the gloss side. And then it switches over to matte. The base doesn't make a difference. The color, I mean the clear. The clear, like, isn't causing a reaction either. The pearl, it's called black pearl. Over black rustoleum. And it was just like a teaspoon for about, it was 150 uh, milliliters uh, for this uh, thing, for this fender. And I sprayed two coats and I did the, uh, the flow coat off, off of camera uh, just to um, kind of just spray it till whatever was left. It was a second coat, but I just uh, went back, just a uh, control coat, spraying everything. Just to make sure that everything was, um, yeah, there's this, yeah, I, di I didn't sand the fender to perfection. It was just to try out, but so far it's looking pretty promising. What do you guys think? Okay, guys, so I hope that answered your question. Um, can you clear coat over Rust-Oleum paint? 
Yes, you can. Well, at least with this clear coat. I'll leave the link to this clear coat down in the description. Um, as far as the colors, this was just a uh, gloss black or ultra matte black, you know, with that clear coat and it works. And as far as the pearl, maybe I didn't choose the right pearl black. It doesn't really look black, but eh. I also have some other rust -Oleum paints, you know, different colors, reds, blues, and so I can experiment with the pearls. But if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, I hope to see you guys in the next one. That's it. Peace out.